A lot of people ask about how to get health insurance as a nomad capitalist, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can get life insurance as a nomad capitalist. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. One thing that a lot of people uh, have trouble when they start living this nomad capitalist lifestyle is all of the little things that you've taken for granted when you live in your home country. Uh, where I come from uh, in the United States, there are a seemingly unlimited number of websites where you can go on and get a quote for a term life policy. There are uh, an unlimited number of insurance agents who will sell you variable life or whole life. Insurance is everywhere. But when you go offshore, when you leave your country, uh, the question is, how do I replace that coverage? And so uh, if you're younger, perhaps you have some student loan debts that your parents uh, co-signed on. You want to make sure that if anything happens to you while you're traveling, that gets taken care of. Maybe you've taken out debt to start a business and you don't want that to affect the rest of your estate. And so you want to insure against that. Uh, or increasingly, what we're seeing is people who are heeding my advice and saying, I can be a married nomad capitalist. I can be a nomad capitalist with children. We can live uh, around the world. And so if you have a spouse or if you have children, uh, you may want to protect them with a life insurance policy. Now, the interesting thing I see about uh, what we talk about here at Nomad Capitalist is that if you live a tax-optimized life, a lot of the money that you are paying in taxes in the country where you come from can be put aside in savings and in investments that can somewhat replace the need for life insurance. Uh, I am uh, not an insurance expert, uh, I know a lot of insurance experts, but you know what I would say is, let's say you're making you know half a million dollars a year. If you live in the United States, Australia, Canada, what have you, you might be paying two hundred thousand dollars in tax over the course of five years. Just putting that money in the bank, you've got a million dollars that is sitting there. Your need for life insurance is reduced because uh, you know what we talk about so much is. People who live in their own countries with their high taxes, water often seeks its own level. They don't have the kind of money to put away to have a million dollars sitting there because it's all being taken up by the cost of living and by high taxes. When you play this geo-arbitrage game of, of earning high amounts of money but living in lower cost and, and lower taxed places, you can build up um, uh, somewhat of a need to, to outpace life insurance. But what I found in my own experience uh, looking for life insurance while overseas is there are two uh, options. Uh, the United States is actually not a bad place to have life insurance. You've got a lot of financial services providers who provide services to people all around the world. And so uh, I have some friends who are in the insurance business who have uh, shared with me some different insurance companies where if you have any connection to the United States at all, let's say you're a former U.S. citizen, let's say you go there for business occasionally, if you can show some kind of connection, there are life insurers more of the variable and, and whole life variety, but potentially also for term insurance, cheaper term insurance, uh, who will insure you. And so the United States, as a place that's relatively open, uh, is a good option. And what I found is that life insurance there tends to be a little bit cheaper. So if you're looking for a cheaper option and you do have any kind of connection to the US, it might be worth finding an insurance agent there. What I've also found, and, and what I've, uh, the option that I prefer is, uh, if you are you know, banking with a, a good bank, like a priority banking relationship or a private banking relationship, uh, those banks can often uh, offer you life insurance. Uh, in Singapore, for example, um, DBS has a connection with Manulife, the big Canadian insurance company, and they will sell you an insurance policy. It's generally for priority banking customers, so like a DBS Treasures, uh, which requires about a quarter of a million US dollar deposit. Um, I'm sure that there are other banks that, that do this. We certainly haven't researched every bank in the world, but I, I have found that in Asia, there's more of a demand, it seems, for insurance and that banks offer this as uh, a service to their customers. So if you're gonna have a priority banking relationship and you get a good banker, I've got a couple of very good bankers that I like who've been very helpful in, in answering this question for me, they may be able to help you uh, underwrite a policy. Again, in my experience, it's just a little bit more expensive, maybe 10, 15% more expensive. Uh, obviously, the currency that the life insurance is in may be denominated differently, but generally, my experience is everything works pretty much exactly the same uh, based on where I'm from and probably based on where you're, you're from. There's a lot of universal rules of how 
uh, insurance works. And so those are two ways that I might look at if you're looking for life insurance, but also take into account that if you're just dipping your toe and just starting this nomad capitalist lifestyle, you may have different needs for insurance than you would if you were simply staying in your own country where you had a lot less disposable income. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.